Is this it then? Is this it? Is this the end of the season? Because it bloody feels like it. <sighs> Very difficult to talk about what I've just seen in that game against Morecambe from Oxford United. I know mathematically it wasn't a must-win game, but I think we all realise that it kind of was, especially after we lost to Plymouth at the weekend and especially of the form of all the other sides around us. And it's not easy. It's not easy going up to Tuesday night Long journey up to Morecambe, them fighting to get a relegation battle. Shitty weather makes it difficult pitch conditions. But if you want to get promoted out of League One, if you want to get in the playoffs, you can't lose this game. You cannot lose this game. And Oxford United did lose this game. Uh, well done to Morecambe. Uh, congratulations. It, it looks like we'll be playing you again next season in League One. And um, full credit, because a lot of people, including myself, probably would have had you going down at the start of the year. So, well done. Um, it finished Morecambe 2, Oxford United 1. It didn't look right. The team sheet didn't look right for me. Um, and, I, and I don't necessarily mean that the players that played out of position played badly but when you've got a center back starting at left back a right back starting at center back and a right winger starting at right back it baffles me a little bit i mean we didn't have we changed it back to a 4-3-3 apart from going you know going away from the 3-5-2 which i think was the right decision um i think that Seddon should have played Today, uh, he's really fallen out of favour and he probably wouldn't have made much of a difference, so it's probably a stupid comment to make. So you can probably disregard that. Elliot Moore's out injured, which isn't great, and Brannigan out of a concussion, should be back for the next game, so it wasn't ideal circumstances. And uh, you look at the Oxford team and you just hope it's one of those games where the attacking players come to the party and the attacking players do the job for us. And they did... Enough to win this game of football and another game of football, but a combination of woeful finishing, good defending and some excellent saves. I must say a couple of world-class saves from the Morecambe keeper, especially in the second half. Oxford just couldn't get the job done uh, and we had a golden start, a perfect start. And we've done this so many times where we've taken the lead early. And so many times it just doesn't mean that we end up with three points. Matty Taylor, probably the only person that can stick the ball in the bloody net at the moment for Oxford. Scores again, a good move down the right, comes into Taylor. He finds the space to finish and he finds the finish because he's quality. But we can't kick on and every time Morecambe came forward, our defence looked so ropey, so dodgy. And Morecambe do get back into the game with two really avoidable goals. The first one, how many times have we seen this? A centre-back wins the first header and it bounces straight back in the middle of the goal. Sorry, straight back down the middle uh, to about the edge of the penalty area. And an opposition player runs onto it and sticks it in the back of the net. It wasn't a great strike, but I just questioned where are the players closing him down? Why is he allowed to take the ball down and shoot? Uh, and that was Will Dig who equalised after 14 minutes. And you, you just sensed that more awful play was just around the corner. Uh, it seemed like we were sloppy and panicked in possession, which we've seen Oxford do at times when an opposition puts a bit of pressure on us. And Stockton, their talismanic striker, gets the second goal after an awful mistake from Herbie Kane. We'll get on to Herbie Kane. Um, gives the ball away. Good break. Gets it back. Stops him with a fine finish. He's a good goal scorer. Great goal scorer at this level. And Morecambe a 2-1 up after 25 minutes. There's still a, a mountain of time. A ton of time for Oxford to get back into this game. And as I say, chance after chance came. But the players did seem erratic today, didn't they? They knew it. They sensed it. <sighs> Right. Great build-up play at times. Woeful finishing. Summed up by Gavin White, who 
can't hit a bloody barn door all season? How many chances does this guy miss? How many points has he cost us through this season from a shite finishing? And there's another one in today's play clean through and he can't even kick it. He falls over his own feet in front of goal. It's such a bad one. And again, he missed chances against Plymouth. Northern Ireland shirt, he sticks it in the back of the net. Have you seen his goal he scored for Northern Ireland? He looks very composed in an Oxford shirt. Terrible in front of goal all season, apart from one game where he smacked it in from 30 yards out, wherever bad it was. But you still felt at half time, at half time, you, you just kind of felt it would end 2 1 to Morecambe. You just felt it, but you still had hope that if Oxford could get one, it would be a turnaround. But did we do enough to score a goal? Probably. Because we did create a lot of chances and there were a lot of like flings that flashed across the box and players get more can players putting their bodies on the line and deflected efforts like a winner one which went just wide and there, as I said there were a couple of excellent saves in there as well and I'm probably missing a couple of things but it just feels like that's it doesn't it it feels like that's it and if anything because I'm angry at the moment if Oxford go and beat Sunderland on Saturday, you'd even be more pissed off that we let this game slip away, that we let these three points, which should have been a gimme, and I'm sorry for disrespecting Morecambe on that, slip away. <sighs> it's such a promising season, wasn't it, at times? It was such a good season at times, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame that we're the side that's going to fall away and wither away, or that's what it seems anyway. It it It... Sunday, Saturday is another game. Saturday is another big game and a big test. But you just wonder what Oxford have got left after this one. Because this week must have absolutely kicked the stuffing out of them. I think Herbie Kane was terrible today. I think he was awful. And I can't believe he stayed on the pitch for 90 minutes. What is Robinson seeing? Is he the only option we got that can pass a ball? Does the fact that he's quite composed under pressure at time blind him and get him away from every other thing that he does? He doesn't really create much for us he's done it a few times but he hasn't scored any goals for us and he's a liability at times on the ball he's too casual he gives the ball away and he's he's certainly not a good holding midfield player in there we definitely miss Brannigan today we definitely did but those other players have got a step up I thought Henry came on and didn't do anything today I thought that I don't know why you can't just sacrifice a defender and bring another forward player on or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just angry and I'm pissed off and I'm sure you are or two. <sighs> Do we think it's the end of the season? I think it probably is, isn't it? I, I, I just can't see us getting in the playoffs now. I want to be wrong. I'd love us to go on a nice four or five game winning run now. But the fact we've got to play Sunderland, MK Dons and Rotherham and we never win away at Fleetwood means that, you know, it's very unlikely at this stage. And I think when you look back at it, there's been some great moments this season. I'm talking like it's the end of the season. It's terrible. There's been some great moments this season. There have been. But it's all but at the back, we've been woeful all season long. We've been terrible defensively. We've been shaky defensively. We do not keep clean sheets. McNally's been great, but it's been a great find and a great centre-back. But it's defending as a whole team. Oxford United have been poor. And it's those defensive lapses that have come back to haunt us, really. In some games, we've been able to scramble and get away with it. But this one, certainly, we did not. And that is an area where... Robinson's got to look back and say he didn't do enough to strengthen that area at the pitch in the January window. We didn't get a holding midfield player in. Where we didn't get cover in at left back, which we kind of needed because a lot of people weren't really happy with said. And then we didn't have any cover for him anyway. Just pissed off. Just pissed off at that game. Pissed off that the season looks like it's petering out to an end. And... Um, not really looking forward to the games now coming up, which is a real shame. But I'm sure you'll all let me know down below how you're feeling. And um, I'm sure it's not going to be good comments. But if there's any more fans out there, put your comments down below. Because well done once again to you lot. You did a great job out there today and a vital three points for you. Uh, we'll go and lick our wounds and uh, bury our heads in the sands and maybe... At two o'clock on Saturday, we'll poke our heads up again and see what what the world of football is giving us. But 
yeah if you feel like giving a like hit like if you feel like subscribing hit subscribe maybe put something nice in the comments to cheer me up don't just put doom and gloom it doesn't fill me with joy of reading them let's put something positive let's talk about the good times when we weren't losing to Morecambe two one but anyway try and have a good night season over <laughs>